Welcome to Asheville. <sighs> we are here the entire weekend and we're gonna show you all the things to eat, see, and do in Asheville, North Carolina. It's actually probably one of our favorite places to come to because it's only two and a half hours away from where we are and it has some of the best food ever, so much gorgeous hiking, and such beautiful things to do. One of the biggest ones is the Biltmore. I'm sure you've all heard of it and we can't wait to show you, especially with it being Christmas. Christmas time. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas at the Biltmore and we're so excited to show you. So I don't know where I was going to go after that. <laughs> first things first, we're going to give you a home. First things first, we're going to give you a tour of our hotel room. We are staying with AC Hotels and we're super, super grateful for letting them have us. We are super grateful for them having us. We are super, super grateful um, for them having us and hosting us here. They're right in the middle of downtown. Absolutely gorgeous views of downtown and it's such a beautiful hotel. So we're gonna give you a room tour and then we're going to dinner. Okay, so we've taken a turn and now we're at my absolute favorite plant store in Asheville. Right I know now? you're in love. Yes, this oh, is my okay. favorite plant store. Um, chlorophyll. If you live in Asheville or you're looking for plants in Asheville, you need to come here. We're going to show cool. you their, we're going to show you their jungle. Check this out. And they have my favorites. They have carnivorous plants, which are so cool. And they also help keep flies out of your trash and everything else if you do get those. Sam's on a carnivorous plant. Like, Look at this pitcher plant. It's so sweet. <laughs> Those are actually really cool. I want one. I think you should get it. They're really hard to take care of though. I, There's uh, pepperonia. I think this no. is the one that I have. It's this pepperonia. Is what I have. It's a friendship plant. Which one? It's this friendship plant. Pepperonia? Friendship plant. It's so For magical uses, luck in abundance. It's a good omen. Yeah, I'm obsessed. And it's got these. Gemstones, because why not? It is Asheville. Look, it's a little tiny Rio. Oh, I want one of these. I'm in my hat. Indeed. I'm so cute. Look. I just want to buy all the little pots, but then I never repot my pots. Oh my god! That is cute. I'm recording, dude. Oh, my bad. I'm so cold, I don't know what to do right now. Okay, most popular or go-to sightseeing hike, and it's not really a hike because it's really on the side of the road, so you can kind of just park on the side of the road. But looking glass falls. Definitely worth coming to. There's a few more that we're gonna do, but this is the best time to come in October when all the leaves are changing. And this is 
probably one of the prettiest waterfalls. Oh, is that your first sip? Oh, I caught the actual first sip. All right, give me your best Kara. <laughs> um, best thing I know ever that had. Gonna watch this. this is probably one of the best hot deals I've ever had. This is 10 out of 10 for sure. Um, it tastes like apple cider. Like spiked apple cider. Spiked with vodka. It's so good. It would have been good hot too. I could get it hot or cold, but I opted for cold. But it would have been really good hot too. It would have been very apple cider. Ooh, hot yum. apple cider. Ooh. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> we're in Asheville and we're going to show you the best of the best hiking in and around Asheville. I'm super excited because most of them include waterfalls. We're going to show you some of the best views, where to go, how to get there, and all about Pisgah National Forest, which we are obsessed with. So where are we today? We are at DuPont Park. There's three waterfalls here. We're going to do the hike that shows all three of the best, the best waterfalls in this location. They're absolutely beautiful. I've never been to them, so I'm really excited. And um, Well, this is the Hooker Falls Trail. Yeah, but it's going to go Hooker Falls, Triple Falls, and um, I forgot the name of the last one. Um, so it's going to show you all three. They link okay. up. Okay. Do they? Yeah. Huh. They link up. Okay. So we're going to show you these hikes today. I love waterfalls, so. Just listen to how quiet it is. So this is why it's called Hooker Falls. Why is it called Hooker Falls? Apparently this used to be a grist mill. And it was named after the guy who ended up buying, or the three brothers who ended up buying the property, Spencer, Edmund, and John Hooker. So it's really just called Hooker Falls. Mr. Hooker. Mr. Hooker. So pretty. Meg's question is, what's a grist mill? I have no idea. Hold on. Hold please. That's clear that what it is. Incredible. So apparently a grist mill is how you got flour or grits back in the day. If you wanted flour or grits made, you took it to a grist mill. So if you like grits, you can thank that. Hooker Falls, done. Difficulty. One. 1.5 out of 10. Two. Maybe 3 out of 10 because we're not done with the hill yet. Well, fair. But it's 0.4 miles each way. And of course, the way back is uphill, which is a fun part, but not too bad. Nice little quick hike. Trail number two, Triple Falls Trail. And then this is going to take us all the way to High Falls. Yeah. I'll let you know. So far, so good. Nice and flat. Weather's perfect. Can't complain. Remember when I said so far, so good? Well, maybe not. Can anyone guess why it's called Triple Falls? But apparently, we can end up all the way down there. So, you can see two of three of the Triple Falls. The other one's here. Worth it. But we have this here. It is very steep getting up here, just a heads up. I'd say five out of 10, difficulty. Five and a half. Right, pretty steep. 
climb straight up. But, well, I don't know. Probably have 200 stairs to get back up, so we'll let you know. It's really free. I definitely, definitely recommend doing this one. You get a good view from the top of like all three. So that's kind of cool. That was well worth it. That one was really pretty. I wasn't expecting that many. That many waterfalls. 200 stairs later. This reminds me of Tallulah Gorge. Yeah. Which, if you've never been, it's very worth it. But it's like, like 448 stairs, feet. yeah. one. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah. It is very steep. I mean, it's very, it's very eight, steep. It is very steep. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 because... Difficulty. Oh, 8 out of... Difficulty? Yeah. Oh, we gotta go this way. Oh. 8 out of 10 difficulty. I wouldn't say that. It wasn't that hard to hike. <laughs> well. 8 out of 10? For six, me, for me six, being sickly, it was 8 out of 10. 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. <laughs> I have the man flu, so 8 out of 10. Such a great view, though. It was so awesome. Yeah. So pretty. Yeah, 10 out of 10, worth it. 10 out of 10, worth it. So, yeah, definitely, this is, like, a really good way to do, like, all three. You'll hit all three, and they're so worth it. DuPont Park. We decided to take the scenic route home. There are no more leaves, but it's still a pretty deal. We were hoping... We missed them by a couple weeks. Maybe a week. But I think it's still pretty. So, we're taking the Blue Ridge Parkway home. Takes a little bit longer, but... I mean... Definitely seems to be worth it. Look at these views. We just finished our favorite meal of the day. We just finished what? Our favorite meal of the day. Breakfast. By far and away. And now we're walking to one of the coolest coffee shops I've seen in a while. This place is really, really, really awesome. Just the whole concept is really cool and it's a it's a more than one cup of coffee kind of day for me. I mean, yeah. So. I don't know if you can tell the weather's also just gray and black, so. So I need it's gonna be one of those. I need something warm in my hands. And then we're just gonna figure out what else we're gonna do today. We get to go to the Biltmore later, so we're really excited about that. So this is why it's so cool. It's an old like, double decker bus. London bus. That's why it's called Double Dates. It's called Double Dates. 
So they say. It's always popular. Here's the line. And cash only. Coffee acquired. I am more of a human right now. It's a lavender honey latte, so it might also be the sugar that's helping me out. <laughs> Not that it's that much sugar, <laughs> but still. They're legitimate. They're dinosaur shapes. Oh, that's cute. I'm in literal heaven. Oh, they're just. They're just cocktail shakes. So where are we? We decided to go into the mass general store. It's been here since 1883. I just love general stores for some reason. I don't know why. Every cute little southern town has them. They're, they're nostalgic. Just, they're just always like, just full of so much stuff. That, like, I have, I, it doesn't really make sense. No, it's a little selling, bit of everything. Like, furniture, there's like, it's a candy section. It's clothes, just whole, yeah, clothes, coffee cups. Yeah, it's this everything. This one's huge though. It has an upstairs and a downstairs. So we're just kind of meandering around while I'm drinking my coffee, trying to wake up a little bit. Nice little bold rock in the background. That's convenient. <laughs> I'm on a cider kick. <laughs> it's fall. I'm I'm on a uh, cider's my vibe. I'm not a huge beer drinker, which is really bad to say, especially in Asheville, because it's all about like the IPAs and the, like the local breweries and stuff like that. So we are in a brewery that is local to Ash, well, to North Carolina, because it's Mills River. But it's a cider. It's a, it's a cidery. It's a cider brewery, and it's. Absolutely incredible. We came here last time and we were back again. And I made my own flight this time. It's apple, pineapple, prosecco, and rose. And their pineapple is fire. I mean, it tastes like legitimate sparkled like pineapple juice. Like it's, so good. It's too easy to drink. So we're back, and we we may or may not get food, but we're definitely here for the cider. Which one's your favorite? Is it the Vatler or one or the Vintage Dry? One of these two. But they're just super dry, but like tastes like green apple. Green apple? Ooh. It's just like dry apple. It's not like like these two are made with red apples, I think, and these two are made with green apple. This is what it tastes like. Oh. So these for sure. Because anything sour is always good. These are mine. Obviously, you can tell the rosé. 